everybody. My name is Shauna J. Grant, and I am a cartoonist, graphic novelist, illustrator, artist, kawaii connoisseur. And I am here with... Hi, I'm Christina V. I, I voice a lot of kawaii girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And one of your, um, one of my favorites that you do happens to be Sailor Mars from Yay! my absolute favorite anime, Sailor Moon. Yay! How I'm so glad. <laughs> How awesome was Sailor Moon Eternal? I haven't seen it yet. I've been oh, so busy. <laughs> I mean, I technically have seen it, mm -hmm. but only my parts. Okay. But... <laughs> Hopefully this weekend, I've been busy voicing uh, lots of amazing anime girls this week, all week. But uh, I'm looking forward to sitting down finally and, and drinking wine. I mean, grape juice and, <laughs> and watching it. Finally, did you like it? Yes, yes. I really enjoyed it. It was so, so beautiful. Like, Oh, oh I... yeah. It looks so nice. <laughs> I yeah. love it. And I got, I'm glad we got to see Sailor Saturn. She's my favorite. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, I I really love the second part and just seeing like the outer senshi and everything. And uh, yeah, so glad it's finally here. <laughs> now we yeah. just need one more season. Yes, so one more season. So I'm like looking forward to hearing announcements about that eventually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, two more so, seasons. Two Why more. not two? It could. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah continue it i'm just saying <laughs> yeah there is so there's so much sailor moon lore out there oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> yeah so um i don't know about you but like i've been watching sailor moon since i was like six years old which is what got me into wanting to create art like was it inspirational to you as well i'm trying to remember the exact age i was in third or fourth grade and it used to be on a TV station here called UPN 13. And that was like mm -hmm. the original run. And my little brother actually made me watch it. Oh. Uh, and the first, I was a little scared at first because the first episode I saw was the one of the dolls in the first oh. season. That was really oh. scary to me, but uh, I kept watching it and I fell head over heels in love and uh, that love never went away. And <laughs> I ate up everything they released here, like the, the subtitled movies on VHS. Yes. <laughs> I was like, I want to be in Sailor Moon one day. And it happened. So <laughs> overall, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I'm pretty happy. That's so great. Yes, absolutely. Like it was kind of like the same for me. I was like, I really want to make stories like this. And Yay! now it's like happening. I started out with a webcomic called Princess Love Pond. And now wow. I'm doing books for uh, Scholastic and for Second. Oh. And <laughs> so I'm really happy. And now I'm here doing the Sailor Moon workshop, which is like, oh. <laughs> also, I love, I can't see your entire fit, but like your glasses and headphones. Oh, and thank delay. you. Yes. Oh. Uh, this is my shirt today. Ah. Me, baby. I drew this myself. It's on ah. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Drop the link. Um, yes, yes, I will be dropping the link for everything before we end this workshop. And um, yeah, so I don't know about you, but are you ready to I'm draw ready. some kawaii art? Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So um, this workshop is really going to be more about just drawing like cuteness and just magical girl stuff. And so I'm going to show you like all my tips and tricks that I use with my own comics and illustrations. So what I love to tell everybody is when you're thinking of cuteness, you want to think about shapes. So for me, like the cutest shape out there is like a circle because it's just like really round and squishy and, you know, like, you can see a triangle and it's like kind of like sharp points to it. You don't super duper want to hug it, but mm -hmm. you really want to hug something like round and soft. So my artwork like uses that a lot. So um, for, I like to start with a head <laughs> and I, <laughs> like, so I'm gonna draw another circle. And so um, the way that I like to plan out my faces is I'll use some guidelines. So I'll do one in like the center of the head. And this is really great because you can kind of 
arrange how you want like the face to be like facing. So if you wanted it to like go to the right, you know, or the left, it will like, you know, so, um, oh. I'm too sorry. <laughs> so um, when I start that, I'll come and bring out the sides of the face over here to like make some cheeks. And as you can see, I just keep everything like super round and squishy. And then to the side here, around the center of the head, we're gonna come out with an ear. Yeah. And then we're gonna finish the side of the face. So they're kind of looking towards the right over here. I really oh, wanna but... hug this person. <laughs> So cute. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna bring the neck down a little. I think to keep this simple, we'll just kind of start with like a little headshot here. And so right. let's see. Uh, let's see if you can figure out what character I'm starting off with. Chibi Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I know these. Or Sailor Moon. Yes. <laughs> Okay. I know this hair tuft. <laughs> I love to joke to my friends that I love drawing Sailor Moon, but I actually find her like really hard to draw sometimes. Oh yeah. yeah. Like her her hair tufts are just like, oh, okay. But I yeah. think it's gonna be Sailor Moon. So we're gonna yeah, come up with the top of the head here. And yeah, she has like a lot of hair. Um, there we go. Oh. And we'll draw her. Let me move this up a little and scooch this out of the way. And then we're gonna draw her other little meatball. Her odongo. Okay. And right. now that we got her, I'm gonna go back to the face here. And so when you draw the eyes, you wanna remember that your eyes are like in the center of your face. So I'm gonna start with the first one. Um, people like to draw eyes in all sorts of different ways. Um, with my art style, I like to think of it like a cartoony sort of like anime twist to it. So I'm gonna have her looking to the side over here. Oh. So I like to draw like a nice big like dark pupil and just fill it all in. Um, other people like to draw it a bit more, you know, colorful, like lots of details going on in there, which is totally fine. But we're gonna keep it simple today. And we're just gonna start off with that. Wow, it's really coming together already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when you draw the eyes and you want to put like a little eye shine, like just think about where is your light source coming from? So that's just like, my weakness. That's your when weakness? Any yeah. art. I don't know how to shade or I don't understand lighting at all. Oh, uh, yeah. It's um, it's something, it takes a bit, but like I'm going to draw like a little pretend sun over here. So we're not going to worry too much about coloring or anything, but for just for the eyes sake, we're going to draw a little white circle here and so if you're working with pencil then you might not want to like fill in everything in you could just keep the Oops. eyes really so it's okay you have an eraser you can use an eraser okay. it's okay <laughs> so don't worry oh it looks pretty cool actually yeah okay. okay there you go yeah like um art is like really really fun really beautiful but like the most important thing about it is don't treat it as too precious that you can't mm. make mistakes. Um, like, don't be afraid to like erase something and start over or even just, you know, like, okay, like I made this mistake, but I'm gonna own it, you know, like mm -hmm. it happens. Like even with me, I'm like, I'll be like looking at my art and just being like, I don't know what's going on here, but let's, let's wing it. Okay. Well and so, how long have you been drawing? Oh my gosh, how old am I? I'm like 30 something. So it's been like over 15 years. Yeah. 
<laughs> you. Yes, yes. So basically since like seventh grade, I've been like, I want to do art and oh. I just kind of like stuck to it. That's so, great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have like the nose like right in the center of her eyes and I have it pointed to the side where her face is turning. So um, I like to do my noses like really simple. I know other people, you know, have other ways they do it. If you want to do like a more anime kind of way where it's like that little triangle sort of thing, um, you can do that. But mm -hmm. with my art style, I like to keep everything like really, really round and simple. So I just do like a cute little squishy nose. <laughs> um, Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> And so we're going to come down with her shoulders. And so I'm going to keep this one um, just as a little a quick headshot just to get things started. So with her shoulders, you can kind of imagine it as like an upside down triangle sort of. You know? Got it. And then you can do the same thing as you did with the face with the guidelines and kind of come out here like which way is her body turning and you also want to think about her bust as well so i like to do this, these guidelines just to position mm. everything and then we're going to come down with this blocky shape here for her torso let me move out and oh so there handy okay there we go <laughs> <laughs> and then for her shoulders, you can put like a little circle over here, just so you have an idea of where you want her arms to come out from. Got it. There we go. And so from there, I'm just going to you put a little line. You could keep this light if you're using pencil, just so you can see where you want her arms to be. And so this is kind of like what they call like a structural drawing. I'm just trying to get down the structure of her body and just planning things out how I want everything to be. And then you can go in with the details. So I think I will just go ahead and draw her whole body. So we're gonna come out from her waist here. And I'm gonna draw like another little shape here. And then come down, and um, there we go. Uh, with my characters, I tend to draw them like really chunky, so don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> I like to skip oh, no. everything like really soft. <laughs> I'm out oh. of space. Oh, don't worry. Okay. If you're out of space, that's totally, totally fine. Don't worry. Um, I just was getting, I was starting to get like a little into it. Okay, so let's go up and go ahead and draw her sailor outfit. Yay! So here we go. And we're gonna draw the top of her fuku coming in over her shoulders like so. Okay. And so when you're drawing clothes, you kind of want to think about like how are they falling on the body? But don't worry too much about it, like, if you can't get it perfect or not. Again, like, I don't know. Sailor Moon has, like, a really simple design, but it's just, it's that kind of simple where it's, like, when you got it all together, it, like, works beautifully. But, like, getting mm. it all together, it's, like, hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, totally. And then we're going to come off with, like, a really soft, squishy sort of triangle from her brooch to make the bow. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep to the guidelines and how I position where the oh. bow is on her body. Oh. So that's what all this planning was for. But don't worry. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Something, something <laughs> went happened. I got this. You I got it. Yes. I believe in you. <laughs> well, huh. All right. Okay. If I just okay. make the bow bigger, I think that's. You could cool. make the bow. It's actually like, yeah, her bow is like pretty big on there and then coming out i'm going to keep it like her original brooch which is really super nice and simple but you don't have to worry about like the detail in it right now we're just having fun that's the main thing here guys we're just going to have fun 
and just draw some cute Sailor Moon. And there we go. We oh have gosh. a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're gonna go back and follow like the sides of her body from the torso that you built. And we're gonna come out a little bit on her hips and then we're gonna curve a line over here. And this is where her skirt is gonna come out from. And if you don't have room on your paper for her legs, don't worry. You could just draw part of her skirt on the page and that is totally fine. Okay. I've always loved that little hip thing that they have on their skirts. So right? Yeah. <laughs> Adorable. And what I like to do with the shape here is just kind of like bring out the pleats of her skirt from it. And with skirts, you can kind of like make them really nice and flowy. So you could be really loose with your lines. And if you want to put in a little bit of details, you can, or you can keep it simple. But um, yeah, what I like to do is just to like keep everything like really loose, a little bit wavy and soft, like nothing like super stiff and sharp on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then if you go back to like the circles for her shoulders, you can go in and draw like her little shoulder pads. And it's kind of like drawing, like, I'm trying to explain what's the easiest way to explain it. Like, drawing like a small, like, tube sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, also, I love this part. I just love this whole costume. It's so, it's so <laughs> unique. Yeah, it's like really simple, like, because it's just like a school uniform, but it's different enough that it's yeah. like you see it and you just go, like, yeah, that's a Sailor Scout. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Totally. And now with the arms, I'm going to like, like kind of separate them like at the elbow here. So your elbow is kind of around waist length and then you'll have your forearm coming from there. And then for her hand, you can just draw lightly like a little oval is how I like to do my hands. And then from there, you can do some light lines to see where you want to put her fingers at. Oh, there you go. So hands don't oh. have to be scary. They don't have to be scary when you break it down, like really, really simple. And again, like you can always look at your own hand for reference just to see like, how does my thumb come out from my palm? Mm -mm. Yeah. Uh, once you have where you want you put your fingers, you could just lightly draw them in. Again, it doesn't have to be like super, super, super perfect. And there you go. And then she has like the top of her glove I'm going to put over here around her elbow. More squishies. Yes, more squishies. Those squishies are for safety. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting the negroverse. <laughs> what they were for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like since it's like such like a space-based series, like just having them there, it's kind of like um like the retro like space art or something. Yeah. Oh, that does make sense. I have a question. This is my burning question though, and I yeah. asked the director when we were recording it. I said. Uh -huh. yeah. How are there sailors in space? <laughs> Is there water that we don't know of? <laughs> what are they sailing exactly? Um, <laughs> yeah, huh? You know what well, she I, said? She said, she said, don't think about that. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> like, I wonder if it's just um, how it got translated over here, because... I feel like in Japanese, it's, they're just guardians, right? I still feel like they still have Sailor. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because there's still Sailor Moon there, too. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> magic. Yes. Space magic. Okay. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and go along with her other hand because I see we are running a little already. Uh, I know. I'm like, oh, this is what are we gonna do for a whole half an hour? And now it's it's almost going. So oh my goodness. Yeah, because I want to go back to her hair because what is Sailor Moon without her hair? So Maybe inside, okay. yes, her that Odongo. Works. We're gonna do more circles to do. I don't know if this has like a specific name to it, but it's just her little hair things. <laughs> yeah, her hair thingies. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm trying. What, what are they called? Them? I don't I actually don't know. I'm like, hmm. Comment below if you know what they're called. <laughs> And then from her head, we're gonna come down with her pigtails. And I say, follow your heart when it comes to drawing Sailor Moon's pigtails. Like, I feel like everybody has their way that they like to do it. Some like to keep her hair like just really thin and long. Like for me, I always tend to just like really like puff it up. <laughs> just like oh, I love really it. chunky pigtails. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Ariana Grande style. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and then we want to put a nice smile. And so I'm going to have her, let's see. So her mouth is going to go under her nose. And I like to start with a nice little curve. And again, I like to keep everything like really, really curvy. And I'm gonna bring down the lines here so she has like this big Hi. smile. <laughs> oh, so happy. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love there needs to be like lots of happiness in the world. So right, right? Oh yes. And then right under the top of her mouth, I'll come down and try to like repeat that curvy shape to draw her some teeth. And then I'll put this line here to show the tongue of her mouth and then I'll fill in the rest of her mouth. So you can see it's just nice and open with a big smile and add a couple lines under her cheek for extra like fleshy cuteness. And then I'm gonna add a little circle on her ear to put in her little earring. And so I hope, I hope this was clear. <laughs> You know what? But She's thanks. missing something. She's missing something very crucial. Her tiara. Her tiara. You're right. Okay. So right in the middle. And this is where I always get a little tripped out with her bangs because I always want to make them like really big and fluffy. We're going to put her tiara. Good catch, Christina. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> See, teamwork. I, I help. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <gasps> okay, I'm loving this. Oh, yay! <laughs> Sensei, I hope that you're proud of me when I show I you my art. Totally gonna be so proud of you. Let me just put some final details. Yeah, go ahead. What I like to do is draw like little sparkles near my character. Oh. Just to add like a little extra, a little extra magic. And I'm just gonna ah. bring down her legs here. There we go. All right, almost finished. I'm gonna put in a little detail to her hair. Sometime you're gonna have to show me how to color. Yes, maybe I can do another workshop. Yeah. Have a little bit more time so we can actually color stuff. That would be like so much fun. <laughs> does she have something on her necklace? Does she have a moon? Yes, she does okay. have a moon on her necklace. Here we go. Got it. And then, helped. yes, and <laughs> we still have a couple more minutes. So actually, let's not forget her back bows too. Oh, yeah. So we're just going to come out kind of like a little triangle. Think about it like a little cat ear from her side. <laughs> cute, cute. There we go. Okay. 
almost finished. Let me see, I still have a couple more minutes. So I think while you finish up your dry, I'm going to do a really cute little doodle. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Over here, just to show you guys again, starting with the guidelines. I hope you can see this through the camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> Uh, you are a good teacher. Oh, thank okay. you. <laughs> I'm going to show you mine, okay? Yes. Wait, oh, wait. my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's so cute. You did such a great job. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thanks for showing me. Yeah. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> oh, no, that's so cute. Oh, I hope you post that online. That's adorable. Oh, sure. Yes, I definitely will. <laughs> I love your style. It's so amazing and oh, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. I'm going to do this one really, really quick. Oh, is that who I think it is? Oh. <laughs> 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 ah! Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so glad. Thank you for having me. Oh, <laughs> oh <look at> <laughs> this is my super, super rush to be because we're almost, we're almost out of time. But um, if you guys want to see more by me, you can find me online at shaunadraws.com. I feel like everything might be in the video, but I'll write it right here really quick. Shauna draws.com. And that has all my social media. I have Twitter, I have Instagram. And um, Twitter is basically the same thing, Shauna Draws. And my Instagram is Shauna Draws Cute. And I <laughs> hope everyone right goes now. out. Oh, please do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but I hope everybody goes out and just draws like their favorite cute characters and makes cute characters of their own. Um, and yeah, and just keep inspiring each other. Oh, <laughs> Everything is so cute. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna post this online right now. Thank also, you so much for showing me. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I had such a fun time. Me too. It was like so fast. It really did. I was so surprised how fast everything was. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do it again soon, please. Yes, that would be so great. And good luck with everything and all your voice Thank acting. You. I absolutely you loved your Mars and Sailor Moon Eternal. Thank you so much. I can't wait to check out all your stuff too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Thank you, everyone. Guys. Take care. Bye.